Hello, my name is Neil Line from Skyway Software, and in this screencast, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the new Spring scaffolding functionality in My Eclipse for Spring 8.6, specifically Spring MVC, Spring Webflow, Adobe Flex, and iPhone scaffolding. If you actually want to run through this example on your own, the only thing that you will need is My Eclipse for Spring 8.6, which is available at the URL shown here. And for this particular example, we are actually going to be using uh, the database reverse engineering functionality that's included with My Eclipse for Spring. And this is, an abil this is the ability of pointing the scaffolding engine at your existing database tables and having it scaffold a full application for you. In this particular example, we're going to go ahead and use several tables that are from the classic cars database that is included in My Eclipse for Spring. We're specifically going to use these four tables where customer has a one-to-many relationship with payment and office has a one-to-many relationship with employee. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a new web project and I will call it, I will name it after its database, call it Classic Cars. I will accept all the defaults and then I will right click on the project and specify My Eclipse Scaffold Spring CRUD application from. And as you can see there are several things that I can actually scaffold from for, but for this particular example I'm going to go ahead and select a database schema. I will click Next and it will show me a list of all of the database connections that I currently have in My Eclipse. Since My Eclipse already includes a database, uh, it also has a database connection that points to that database. So we're going to go ahead and use the one that automatic, that's automatically included. And then we'll go ahead and pick the schema as well as the tables that we are interested in scaffolding from. And then I'll go ahead and specify exactly which tables are my top level objects. So I'm going to go ahead and specify office and customer as my top level objects. Then I will need to specify what I want to use as my package name. So I'm going to go ahead and use org classic cars. And you'll notice all of the other package names are automatically filled in for me. If I want to override those, I could certainly do that as well. Now I'm going to be prompted for which web clients do I actually want to generate. So for all of the applications I will generate the service, DAO, and domain layer, but here I'm specifically specifying which one, which web, what, what I want to be used for my web layer. For this example I'm going to go ahead and I'm select all four. I click next. You'll also notice that GWT is listed here but uh, it's not available as of the milestone but it will be available for my Eclipse for Spring 8.6 when it goes GA uh, in the end, towards the end of June. Click next. There's a couple of custom panels. Um, this panel lets me actually customize my user interfaces. Um, here I get to specify where I want things generated to and uh, what version of Spring. I'm going to go ahead and select Spring 3.0 click next, click finish, and now the application is being scaffolded. Once the wizard is done, uh, if I expand the project, there was a whole bunch of code and configurations and files that were generated for me. We're not actually going to cover that in this screencast. We'll save that for another screencast. But what I will do is I'll right click on the project and specify run as my Eclipse server application. And this will go ahead and deploy it to the local instance of my, of, I'm sorry, of a uh, Tomcat that's included with my Eclipse for Spring. Once the Tomcat is finished starting up, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a browser, type in the URL to the application, and it will pull up the application that was scaffolded for me. And you will notice that there's going to be several different sections in here that are used for accessing the different web clients that are available for uh, this particular project. So to access the Spring MVC version of this project, I can click on one of the two top level domain objects. And from here, I can actually drill down into the details from and uh, view the related objects, add new objects, ch update the relationships, et cetera, et cetera, all from that UI. The Spring Webflow one looks almost identical to the Spring MVC one, except the whole web client was implemented using Spring Webflow instead of Spring MVC. And then the Adobe Flex one includes a Adobe Flex UI um, that was scaffolded and generated, including all of the action script and everything necessary for uh, creating this project. And then finally, I can go to an iPhone emulator and be able to put in you the URL and see an iPhone version of this application as well, which has all of the details. So the same CRUD application implemented with a whole bunch of different user interfaces. That's it for this screencast. Please give My Eclipse for Spring 8.6 a try, and you can follow us at, at Genuatech on Twitter, at Skyway Software, or the My Eclipse for Spring YouTube channel. Thank you very much.